Welcome to Red Dead Redemption 2. Today, we have the biggest weapon overhaul mod you can get right now. This mod is called Smoke's Mega Arsenal, and this mod adds almost 200 new gun variants, and you gotta love that. You have everything from new revolvers, new shotguns, unique rifles, some of the best bow variants I've ever seen, and even new knives you can buy. So if you're looking to add more weapons into your game, this is the ultimate mod to add. So in order to actually use this mod, you first have to go buy some weapons from the fence. At the fence under the weapons category, you'll have your almost 200 weapons ready to buy. And one of the cool things about this mod is that if you're playing through the story, these weapons will progressively unlock as you get further and further. And of course, once you own the weapon, you can customize it at the gunsmith as well. So if these weapons don't look good enough for you already, you can still add on to them to truly customize them any way you want. Now I've just bought every gun from the fence, which if you're doing a regular playthrough, definitely not recommended. But we're going to show you a bunch of different weapons that are included with this mod. We'll start off with the bows. And this one is the factory finished one. So you got a bow that's really smooth around the edges. We now have the wooden inlay bow, which is nice and colorful. And you get that nice detail and uniqueness with this one. We have an all new horn bow, which is very nice looking and probably my favorite bow, the Jaguar bow. So you get that nice Jaguar pelt with what I'm guessing is a Jaguar bone, which is a really cool touch. They even got an alligator bow with the bow inlaid with alligator teeth. Now that is nice. And then you can't forget about Charles bow, a nice, simple, reliable bow. But now it's time for the big boys. So pretty much all guns have a factory finished version. So you see that it has a smoother version and the imperfections are gone. So you'll be able to find that for all of the weapon types. And then also all of the gun types will have a gunslinger version, which if I remember correctly are from RDR1. So if you're looking for a RDR1 style of gun, you can always go with the gunslinger versions of that weapon type. And then it stated there are a lot more variants of the guns you know and love. So there's some really cool reskins of guns that have some pretty cool names such as this one, the Arachnophobia. And this one is absolutely stunning. You got that nice spider design on the shotgun. All we need are spiders to one pump now. We have the Trader shotgun, which actually looks like it has a nice unique leather wrap. We got Bill's pump action shotgun. As you can tell, this is really unique since it has some shotgun shells right on the stock. There's different variants for all of the gang members, so you can find their guns throughout this mod. This one's actually one of the really good ones. I like this. Now we have Miss Grimshaw's shotgun, and I did not know she was packing like this. This shotgun is sleek. I am now kind of jealous. We have Gunter's repeating shotgun, which is another unique looking one. I really like the dark color scheme with these designs. We got Virtriol, a nice simple one. Jenny's repeating shotgun. Man, there's so many guns. I'm about to have analysis paralysis. This repeating shotgun is Lene's, my boy. You definitely have to buy this gun if you install this mod for Lene. Lene, that's my boy. We got Max Semi-Auto Shotgun. And look at that design. Looks like wave designs, huh? Pretty cool. We have the Krampus Shotgun, which is another really unique one. You can see the skull and bones design. And you know this thing is packing. I like this one too. This one is called Wrath with a nice little design by the hammer. And then it's got a cool wrap on the stock as well. And you notice that if it has a unique name for that gun, it probably has a really unique design too. Wow, okay, Miss Murphy was packing with the double pump. This red design and red wrap is nice. Definitely one of my favorite shotguns. I don't know who Joe is, but his double barrel shotgun is looking spicy. Got a nice gold and black inlay. Then he's got that same thing as Bill with the shotgun shells on the stock. I like that. We got the lumbago double barreled shotgun. My man uncle needs to polish his weapon. Sean's double barrel is looking nice. It's almost a rosé looking version. Or maybe that's copper or bronze. We got Arthur Morgan's signature. Ooh, and looking sleek. Then we have the Stitch, which is another copper looking weapon. And it's got some pretty cool graphics on it as well. And Charles's uh, elephant rifle is looking nice. A little dusted, but you know it's been used. We have a sniper rifle called the Reaper. <laughs> Which is looking nice. It's got these Halloween vibes. Nice gold with the green and purple accents. It's nice. We have the long arm crossbones. It's another skull and bones design. Looking nice, but this time it's the black wood with the gold. Ooh, Skipper's Carcano rifle. This one's nice too. I always like it when I see the bullets on the stock. I don't know how easy it would be to reload in real life like that, but it is nice in a video game. We have Dante's rifle. I don't know if it's a reference from DMC. I know Dante always be in the red with the uh, Devils May Cry. This is a nice rifle. Get a nice new varmint rifle from Fauna. So you can kill those varmints in style. It's nice. We got the graveyard bolt rifle. Looking spicy. Oh 
we got max bolt action rifle. This one's actually nice too. Wow, man, there's so many weapons to choose from. It's hard to choose. <laughs> oh, we have frostbite. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, you can tell. That's extra camouflage in the snow right there. Ain't nobody gonna see you. And I don't know who Davy Evans is, but his repeater is looking nice. This is a great colorful looking repeater. I like this one too. We have a collector repeater, which has a nice new leather wrap looking. Definitely for the collector. We have the oppressor. I like this one. This one's nice, simple, but it's really sleek. It's got that nice black wood, but then you get that shiny metal. We got one called Mercy which is all shined out. Now I do have the gunmetal rework mod in here too. So we, that's why we could be seeing some extra shiny weapons. We got the golden carbine repeater, keeping it golden style, that dark brown wood. Cleats got some style with his carbine repeater. It's really nice. I don't think I've seen that ring right there, right next to the trigger, it's pretty cool. And now we're onto the revolvers. So we got Lucius's revolver right here. Almost looks like there's gems in it. We got Andre's revolver. We got some nice navy and gold tints. Just don't shoot the horse, please. Ah, Kieran's guild and revolver. He's got a pretty spicy gun. Got that nice turquoise. Oh man, this one's called Blood Money. Oh yeah, it's nice. This one has to be my favorite so far. Black with the red. Ooh, we got the Lenny Gilded too. Another one you have to buy. For Lenny, that's my boy. We got the White Church Revolver. Oh, it's a nice little flower. This one's really nice. Looks like it can pack some power. We have Hosea's Gilded Revolver too. This one's more of a gold style, which is pretty cool. This one is the Greaves Ranger, which kind of looks old and new at the same time. O'Malley's sawed off shotgun. Looks like somebody in San Denis would use this. Oh, wow. Clementine's Revolver. That one's nice. Looks like even the stock is really cool. I like that gold and black design. I think this is one of my favorite uh, sawed off shotguns too. The Moonshiner shotgun. That is nice. Ooh, -wee. and of course, Micah has a really cool gun. Another black and red design. Man, this gun is nice. Miss Murphy always packing. Almost looks like a, uh, a Dante type, which is really cool. I always dig any of the red and black colors, so I like this one. We got Rango bringing back the color scheme. Okay, that is a nice design right there. Got a nice high powered pistol, giving me some mafia type vibes. We got the brother to Rango, Tango, which I think I prefer Tango. That black is looking nice. Oh yeah, the Sam's pistol with the all black too. That is definitely looking nice too. Ooh, got the Noble Revolver. Looks like a very high honor one with that all gold. We have Gloria, which is looking pretty nice too. We got Dutch's semi-automatic pistol. <laughs> all right, Dutch. Oh, the Aztec semi-auto is looking nice. That's cool. Oh yeah, that is nice. Look at that design. Aztecs for the win. Arthur's got his gilded revolver too nice it even says ar on it that's nice skips volcanic pistol Ooh. okay i see you we got a nice looking revolver that's from sam it's looking cool i like the uh iron sights on this one then we have a nice navy revolver too oh uh, yeah that is pristine right there okay we got the evelyn oh it's like nice and rustic it's cool we got the smoke revolver okay i see you with the scorpion too that is looking nice we got the Vendetta Navy Revolver. Wood on black on silver. Nice. They have Jango's Revolver. You cannot complain about that. That is looking nice. Now there's a bunch of other weapons. I just skipped over the ones that had similar looks. But if you're really looking to up your gun game, there really is nowhere else to look besides Smoke's Mega Arsenal. If you enjoyed what you saw, feel free to like and subscribe. We got many more RDR2 mod showcases on the way.